Oh, you think you need a mask to disguise yourself? Well, just watch what you can do with a little help from your parents and some scraps of cloth or old clothes from around home. An eyebrow pencil, different colors of eyeshadow, rouge, lipstick, an old mop or wig, some wax teeth, maybe some clay and food coloring, and a few other odds and ends. You'd be surprised what you can turn yourself into. Whether you buy a costume or design your own, be sure that it's made of flame retardant material. That means material that won't catch on fire easily. Now our little witch has turned into a beautiful princess and her new costume is much safer. But there are a few other things you should do before going out. First, eat a big dinner. If you go trick-or-treating while you're hungry, you'll be tempted to sample some of your treats while you're out, and that's definitely not a good idea. Keep an eye on the clock. In many places, the police set the hours that you should trick-or-treat. Trick-or-treat only within those times. Neighbors should be ready with treats for you and drivers should be more careful to watch for you during those hours. Make sure you carry a flashlight when you go. The light will not only help you see where you're going in the dark, but it will also make it easier for others, including drivers, to see you. Always travel with a group, not alone. It's safer still to have a parent along to keep an eye on things. And of course, you should always walk. Riding a bicycle at night is always dangerous, but it's even more dangerous to try to ride in a costume at night. As you go from house to house, stay on the sidewalks as much as possible. If you have to walk in an area where there are no sidewalks, walk as far off the roadway as possible and face the traffic. That way you can see what's coming and get out of the way if you have to. Cross streets only at brightly lighted corners, not in the middle of the block and never between two parked cars. When you start across the street, cross quickly, but don't run and don't stop in the middle of the street for any reason. Stay in your own neighborhood when you're trick-or-treating. Your neighbors are probably hoping to see you in costume on Halloween. And it's safest to visit people you know. If you don't know the people very well, don't go into their homes. Most people enjoy having trick-or-treaters come to their doors. But there are a few people who will do things to hurt kids. They might put sharp or hard objects in candy and apples. Or they might put something on fruit or gum that could make you sick if you eat it. To be completely safe, save your treats until you get home. Then ask your parents to help you check them carefully to make sure that there's nothing in them or on them that could hurt you. The safest treats are usually candy or gum that come in their own wrappers from the factory. Fruit should be washed before you eat it. And all candy bars and fruit should be sliced so you can be certain that there is nothing hard or sharp inside that could hurt you. If you're not sure whether something is safe or not, don't take any chances. Throw it away. But let's get back to the fun part of Halloween with the princess and her friends. Almost everyone enjoys a good joke or riddle. What's your trick? What you guys eat for breakfast? What? 
Let's test it. <laughs> what's, what's a wiener when you take out its inside? What? A Halloween. Where does Dracula keep his money? Where? In a blood bank. <laughs> Here, have some candy. However, some practical jokes and pranks aren't so funny. If you should break something, it wouldn't be very funny to the owners or to your parents, who might have to pay for it. So keep your jokes funny and harmless. Tonight has been a magical night. We saw a scary monster changed into a beautiful, happy, and safe little princess. How about you? Will you follow the lead of the little princess and have a safe and super Halloween this year?